Movement in Power World is extremely important, and gliding enhances your movement capacity. In this video, we cover why gliding with Gale Claw is secretly broken for two specific reasons. I'm Spooky Pops, let's get into the video. First, let's start with the basics of gliding. And if you already know about gliding with Celeray and Gale Claw, you can skip this section of the video. Gliding is a basic mechanic in Power World that helps you retain your altitude while still moving forward. You can craft gliders at your base, but these gliders are extremely lackluster. You don't move very fast while in the air, and because gliding takes stamina, you don't move very far before having to return to the ground. It's this reason why most people think gliding is extremely weak and non-essential right now. Even the superior crafted gliders are subpar at best. However, pals that you catch have special abilities. For example, there are pals you can mount, pals you can turn into a flamethrower, and pals that double as a glider. Celeray and Gale Claw are your gliding pals that are far superior than your crafted gliders. Gliding with these pals extends your movement distance and speed, making getting around a lot easier. Now, gliding with Gale Claw is secretly broken for two reasons. The first reason has to do with covering large distances while exploring or obtaining Lift Monk effigies. To maximize your movement speed and distance, you need a mountable flying pal paired with Gale Claw. First, use the flying pal as far as he will take you both up and out. Once you have depleted the stamina bar, you then switch over to Gale Claw as a glider. Glide until you have depleted the second stamina bar, at which point you can then return to the ground to quickly mount up again on your flying pal. Then repeat the process over and over until you arrive at your destination. This technique is superior to just the flying pal, as you'll have two stamina bars at your disposal. It is easily the fastest way to travel until you obtain the late game Jet Dragon, which is the fastest mount in the game. But let's be honest, you don't obtain that mount until basically you're level 50, so using Gale Claw as a glider to explore and travel via air is a no-brainer. Now, there are people who will say, well, I don't want to take up a spot on my party with Celeray or Gale Claw because they aren't great fighters. I too was a non-believer of this strategy and said the exact same thing, but... The second reason will give you the motivation to make him a permanent pal in your party because of his insane utility, and this reason makes the bird even more broken. There are several moments and examples during a fight where you need to gain distance from your enemy. There are several abilities that are almost impossible to iframe, like the target seeking abilities. Easy, easy. No iframe needed. No risky iframe needed. Oh, run, Bannon. I didn't see that pillar. Run without your glider, jump. I just prefer a skilled gameplay. You know, I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You prefer running around like a crazy man. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the enemy is charging at you and you need to get away as fast as possible. There are also abilities that have wide area of effects. These moments are where Gale Claw shines best. Without having to worry about iframes or sprinting away, you can simply move quickly away from the enemy or the ability by gliding away. This technique always comes in clutch to ensure a safe and easy fight. There are also moments where it would be useful to close the distance between you and your enemy. Maybe you are trying to catch a pal who is running away from you. Maybe you are trying to stun the pal with your stun baton. Maybe you are trying to melee the pal. Gliding with Gale Claw provides so much utility to your fights that once you test it out for yourself, you won't want to go back. Lastly, let's go over some tips to successfully use this technique. The first important tip is to capture a Gale Claw that has a runner or swift passive skill. These skills enhance the movement speed of the Gale Claw, making him even faster. I was able to capture a Gale Claw with the runner passive skill, and it is insane and completely broken. After you capture the Gale Claw you want to use, level him up via the Pal Essence Condenser. To be honest, I haven't tested this specifically, but leveling him up should further enhance Gale Claw, making the technique even stronger. If anyone knows whether this provides him more stamina while you are gliding or makes him faster, let me know in the comments below. Regardless, leveling Gale Claw up can't hurt and makes him a stronger fighter in the case you need him to fight. Third, you can maintain your altitude while gliding with Gale Claw by continuously resetting the glide. Here is an example of me doing so. This technique helps you retain your altitude, ensuring you have maximum potential to reach your destination. And finally, a word of caution. I have died countless times while doing this by running out of stamina while gliding with Gale Claw. The only caveat to this technique is don't be stupid and die like spooky. The best way to avoid dying is by getting close to the ground before your stamina completely depletes. If you don't believe me and think this video is simply clickbait or stupid, go ahead and try it out for yourself. 
glide with Gale Claw while exploring, and use him in boss fights. I can guarantee you will also see how busted Gale Claw is. If not, I will apologize for wasting your time in the comments below. If you enjoy my Power World content, please consider subscribing to support the channel. That's it for this video. Spooky Pops out.